Hi everybody, how are you this week? It's Intuitive Medium Christine, and as promised, once again, we are going to do the weekly uh, card reading. So this is for the week of July 31st, okay? So we're changing decks this week. Last week we used a deck by Colette Baron reed and this week we're going to use a deck by Kyle Gray, and it's called um, Angel Prayers. And Kyle Gray is a British angel communicator. He's a medium and he's a motivational speaker. Uh, I like this deck. I'm going to try to use decks that are positive and that have positive photos, okay? Because I think that's important. I have to keep you guys positive. So the first card this week, I'm going to try to hold this so everybody can see it because of the light. This card is the inner voice. Uh, a lot of the times our inner voice speaks to us. Uh, we hear things, you know, like turn left, don't turn right, uh, you know, and we don't listen. Most people don't listen. Um, so what I'm going to talk to you about this week with the first card is the inner voice. I need you to start trusting your inner voice. Um, take some time and listen from within. Live, start living on the inside, which I talk about all the time. Um, if you've been asking for help, um, answers are finally on their way, but they're going to come from you. It's not going to come from the outside. The answers are going to come from you. You need to sit, meditate, think about what's going on, and the answers come from within. And usually there's help that comes with those answers, someone delivering them to you. Okay? Um, your inner voice is very subtle, and it takes patience, patience, and a willingness to listen in order to truly hear what it says. And like I was talking to a client this morning, um, you know, she hears things her inner voice all the time and she doesn't listen and it always gets her into trouble so start to listen to your inner voice um, close your eyes and listen the support is there okay the next card we have for this week for the weekly reading is called new beginnings I like this card's pretty okay a new opportunity will be coming your way and know that help comes along with it so if you've been it kind of goes with the first card you know, if you've been wondering about something, you know, how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? Sit quietly, listen to your inner voice, and then this is the second card, your beginnings. Um, you may have felt resistance or have felt stuck, stuck in life. What do I do now? Um, but changes are coming this week. Um, detach yourself from the drama. Get away from the drama. Getting away from drama helps us to think more clearly about things, okay? Um, detach from the challenges that have been standing in your way. you got to start to think positive and stop thinking about this is in my way and that's in my way. Think around it. Think of different ways to get around the challenges, okay? Um, this card indicates that the new opportunity being pre presented to you is divinely guided. So we got some stuff to think about this week. Okay, the third and final card for the week is speak your truth. It is time to speak your truth. If you're a yes person, it's time to say no and let people know how you are feeling. This card encourages you to speak your truth. It has reached a point in your life where you must be honest with yourself and all those around you. If you're holding anything in or feel the need to share something with those who matter to you the most, then do so, okay? So this week, we're going to work on speaking up for ourselves and speaking the truth. Don't get yourself in trouble and know when to be politically correct, but it's time to speak your truth and to stick up for yourself, okay? So that is the weekly reading for this week, and for the rest of the week, I'll be putting a card online um, every day, and I'll be doing exactly what I've been doing, putting up the meetings and everything else. Uh, if you guys could write comments underneath so I got a little bit of feedback, if you like the card, if it you know, apply to you for the day. We have some people that are doing that. That would be great. So I look forward to seeing you guys again next week on Monday morning, bright and early, and have a great week. Take care.